Hey guys, Darkovica here, and today we are going to be going over some more Tyranno Builder tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about something that's extremely important in Tyranno Builder and just in visual novels in general, and that is branching buttons. So one of the most important aspects of a visual novel is branching options. Visual novels are essentially text-based adventures and choose-your-own-adventures, but with like a comic book style format. So having lots of options that affect your game are extremely important. So let's go ahead and talk about how buttons work. Right now we've got a situation, a game, in which we have V-Chan show up, and I apparently say hello, welcome to my tutorial, and then she disappears. So let's go ahead and give her, give, give some buttons. Let's put in a button, let's put in two buttons, let's give it two options. The first button we're going to have it say, how are you? Now you see I've entered that into the text section over here on the far right of the screen. Don't worry about the rest of these options, we'll go over them in just a second. And the second button that I've selected, the second button that I've posted, I'm going to have that say, don't talk to me. Obviously, uh, these don't do anything just yet hit accept or enter and it will work. Now let's go ahead and play and see what this does. Hello, welcome to my tutorial. Buttons appear and they don't really do anything. In fact, the level starts over. Okay, also if you noticed, they appeared in a really weird location. That's because we haven't positioned them. Now you can position these things if you happen to know if you wanted them to be in the direct middle of the screen, then you could put in the X position, the Y position, if you want to change the width and the height, you could do that. They also have, as per usual, their nice positioning tool. So we can go ahead and position how are you here, and we can position don't talk to me here, and I'm sure you've noticed, but I can see the ghost of the other option. If I work in the opposite order, I won't see don't talk to me. It shows you buttons previously posted in a sort of ghost format to let you know where you put your last button so that you can kind of position your second button or previous buttons accordingly. All right, now let's uh let's also put in some uh, some text, right? We want we want them to say so how are you? And we're going to have her say uh, I'm fine in response, right? That's what we want. And over here we're going to have her say, so mean, because we told her not to talk to me. Alright, let's see. She says, hello, welcome to my tutorial. And she disappears, it looks, she says, I'm fine, and then she says, so mean. Clearly that didn't work, and there's a very good reason for that also. Just because we're going to keep this neat. After every sort of text period. I'm sure I've mentioned this in the previous tutorial. I like to close it even though she's still talking and no one else is really talking. It just makes it look cleaner. This is not, this is how we want it to look. This is how we want it to act. A button and a cause. We have our button here, how are you, and this is the cause, correct? This is not the way that it works in Tyranno Builder, but it is the way logically that it works. In Tyranno Builder, we have something called labels that we need, and the labels are just as important as the buttons. These labels are basically going to act as directors. When a button is clicked, it's going to redirect the game to the label as a sort of flag. So let's give this label, how are you, title, so we know what it's for. And let's give this label, don't talk to me. These guys don't take spaces because they're pretty much like large flags or variables, so we're going to not put any spaces, but we are going to sort of dictate words by capitalizing each word. Now let's come back to these buttons, and how are you? We're going to leave the location to scene one because we don't want it to leave scene one. We're going to put the target to how are you because that's what how we want how are you to lead to. Now we're going to jump down to don't talk to me and we're going to direct that to the don't talk to me label. So now when we play, supposedly, this should work. But I'm going to show you why it doesn't. So this is welcome to my tutorial. Now it says I'm fine. What's changed this time is that both buttons have loaded in. 
Now she's showing both text. And the reason for this is because we kind of want the game to stop after it shows the buttons. It want, we want the game to wait for input from the player before it continues on. So now that we have a stop, let's try that again. So she says, hello, welcome to my tutorial. She disappears and the buttons appear. Now you notice there's no text here. So if I click, how are you? Whoops. Oh, I think we may have uh, mislabeled something. Or it's panicking. It's quite possible. Let's make sure we didn't put any spaces. Let's make sure that nothing's broken. Okay. That's working just fine. Let's double check our project, save it. Let's try that again. Welcome to my tutorial. How are you? She says, I'm fine. But then she also says, so mean. We need one more label to tell the game where to go after it's played all of that information. I'm also going to add another stop at the end of the game, just because it's good workflow. We're going to name this label Continue 1. And the reason I have a 1 at the end of it is because you're likely going to have a lot of labels by the end of your game. So you're probably going to have a lot of continues. So at least in this situation, we know it's the first continue. You can name it something more apropos, like continue, how are you, or something like that. But for now, let's keep it simple. We'll name it continue one, just to keep things simple. Now we're going to make use of the jump node. After she says, after we show the text, so she's now said, I'm fine, we want this to jump to continue one. So this is going to happen after the text I'm fine has shown. That way, the text under don't talk to me doesn't appear because we don't want it to. So let's go to, let's add another jump. Technically, we don't need a jump here because it's right in front of continue. So if we were to jump to don't talk to me, it would just continue on to continue by itself. I like to put the jump anyways, even if it does take up a little extra space because it's sort of, it's pleasing to my eye and it helps me read it better. It's a little cleaner to me. So now if we run this, let's see. Hello, welcome to my tutorial. This time we're going to choose don't talk to me and see now she just says so mean. So that means that we've officially skipped the text for how are you, the text that says I'm fine that should only show when the how are you button is clicked. So that means it's working. Now I can also put some text after the continue that says, let's see, Monica says, you have officially continued. Hooray, hooray, rather. I'm going to show, let, I'm going to, uh, before I show one more thing, I'm going to show you a clean, a sort of, a, a clean way to do this. V-Chan exits the scene right after she says, hello, welcome to my tutorial. Let's go ahead and remove the message window, just because it's going to look a lot cleaner. Let's take a look at how this, how this appears. So, v, or rather, Monica says, well, hello, welcome to my tutorial. Oh, it didn't disappear. That might be a save issue. Let's try this now. Make sure you save your project before you run it, because sometimes your, your changes are not going to show. Hmm... Oh, <laughs> silly, <laughs> I used the wrong node. We don't want to show the book. We don't want to show the window. We want to hide the window. Silly, silly, silly. See, even I make mistakes. It's okay. It's human. All right, now it should work. Yep, there it goes. So now we have our buttons, and we don't have this nasty, empty black box at the bottom of the screen. Now, unfortunately, if I were... I should have shown you that, but if I were to click the buttons after that... Let's see. So she says, hello, welcome to my tutorial. That goes away. If we click, how are you? Well, the text is happening, but there's no window. So there's not necessarily a chance for it to show the text. So let, now we've got to show the, uh, the message window. So we got to put a show message window in the label here, but also in the other label. Because remember, this label only runs if how are you is selected, and then it skips, don't talk to me. So you have to make sure that you put show message window underneath both labels because only one is going to ever run at a time. Next thing we should probably do is have VChan re-enter the scene. So let's have her re-enter the scene 
first. So let's have her join the scene before the message window so we can enjoy her and all of her happiness. This is a label where we've asked her how she is. So we can probably change her expression to something very excited since, you know, oops, this is, we have Yuko selected. We don't want to change Yuko's exp uh, expression because she doesn't exist in the scene. So it's going to, it's kind of pointless. I think let's, uh, let's do this one. And I think at the very beginning we have her using that expression already. So let's give her a somewhat more low-key expression in the beginning. Because we want our game to sort of flow, but also have some character. So now V-Chan's joined, you know, she's... Oh, oh right, right. We have not told her that we want V-Chan to enter. Let's go ahead and reposition our characters so that she kind of makes a little bit of sense. Let's make her a little bit bigger, because I think that's what I did before. Technically, if I wanted to be extremely exact, I could go over here and take a look at her position as, as the same as it was before and re-enter these, these, uh, this, that information. That way it's the exact same. So let's go ahead and do that. 237. So I can show you how it looks. Come back. We'll enter negative 9 here. And we'll come back 489 and 650. Oops, 652. 489 and 652. All right now when we show her, see she's in the exact same position and she's the exact same size. So now we've got some uh, some repetition. But she's only showing for one label. So let's go ahead and do the same. We'll have her join the scene, but let's also have her change her expression. Now, in this option, we're kind of mean to V-Chan. So we want her we want her to sort of reflect that. So let's make her sad. And now let's go ahead and enter the exact same Location and size, 237 by negative 9. 237 and negative 9. Let's see what the previous one was. 489 by 652. Oop. There we go. And now, when we play, let's go ahead and save first. Make sure our, our changes don't get ignored. So now V-Chan appears, and she's not, she's not really flipped this time, I think. Oh, she is flipped, because I, I remember in our previous tutorial, I showed you that you could flip the image. So she says, hello, welcome to my tutorial. Now we have our buttons. Let's go ahead and do don't talk to me. Oh, we have a run error. So let's go ahead and see where that's come from. Don't talk to me. We've changed your expression. Ah, we didn't, we didn't specify what character. Always make sure that you've specified which character you want to join the scene. Otherwise, it's going to do exactly what it did just now and not know where to, where to go or what to do. Let's try that one more time. Hello, welcome to my tutorial. And let's choose don't talk to me. And there she is with the correct expression. So mean. You have officially continued. So that means we've hit the continue. Ah! The name is there. That's because it didn't put the pound sign. If we try this one more time, and let's go ahead and choose the other option. Welcome to my tutorial. How are you? Now she's happy. She says, I'm fine. You've officially continued. So that means, ah, didn't save my change. So should the name. All right. Last thing. We're going to talk about how we can use buttons to change a scene. Let's go ahead and add one more jump. Actually, this let's let's change the jump we already have. We have a jump here that tells the game to move on to continue. For asking how she is, or rather for don't talk to me, let's send it back to the title screen. Let's pretend that don't talk to me is actually a game over, and it sends the player back to the title screen. Now if the player chooses don't talk to me, they get sent back to the title screen, because we've used this jump button to send them there. And that also means that continue is not going to show. Let's go ahead and uh, show that. So V-Chan says hello, or rather Monica does. Welcome to my tutorial. Now we have some buttons. Let's go ahead and choose don't talk to me. She says so mean. Oh! And I believe it still has... Let's choose this and let's make sure... Uh, there's a bit of a bug here. So let's go ahead and re-put re that, that jump. So we make sure that it's completely fresh. Let's choose the title screen. If you, I don't know if you noticed, but it said titlescreen.ks, and then it also said continue one, and there is not a continue one label within the title, title screen, and that's where that error was coming from. So 
kind of look out for that. There are some, there are still some finicky bugs in here that I'm probably going to report after this tutorial. Hello, welcome to my tutorial. Let's go ahead and say, don't talk to me. She says, so mean. Oh, V-Chan is still in the scene, which is not what we want. We don't want sad V-Chan to stay in the scene while we go to the tile screen. So now let's tell her, before we do the jump, we'll have her exit the screen. And the, mes the, the message box, we don't need to make it disappear because the title screen actually has a node that does that for us. So now let's check out our supposedly, hopefully clean version. Don't talk to me. So mean. The window disappears. And now we are back at the title screen. It says new game and load game. I don't know if I've explained this before, but to play from the very beginning of the game, you hit the play button up here, right here, where it says preview game. I don't know if you can see the little box that shows up. This is a giant play button, and this is to preview from the very beginning. If I click this, it takes me to the very beginning of the game, where it says new game and load game. If I click the play button here, this actually starts me from the scene which is really fantastic because that means that I don't need to start from the very beginning of the game every single time. As one last sort of sign for you guys, I can also show you that you can start from anywhere within a screen. So let's, let's start from this hide message window. Let's say we wanted to debug from here. We didn't want to see that repetitive text over and over again. We're going to right click on hide message window and we're going to click from a pop-up window that appears preview from here. Now we're just previewing from the buttons. So it says don't talk to me and she says so mean. If I do it again, let's go ahead and do it again. We'll preview from here from the hide message window. Let's hit how are you? And look how happy she is. We've done good. We've officially continued. Now this time you can see we've reached the continue text and that's because uh, asking how she is is the proper the proper choice. So it does not send me to the beginning of the game. All right, I think that's covered everything that I wanted to go over today. So I hope you guys uh, got a lot out of this tutorial. It's super fun, and I absolutely love Tyranno Builder, despite its kind of bugginess. Once you start to get a feel for it, you sort of you sort of learn how to circumnavigate it. And of course, the uh, admins behind this software are very friendly and they're very active so as soon as you find a bug try to sort of uh, explain in as best a way you can to the admins where you found the bug and how you activated the bug in fact if you can get it on video that's probably for the best so I'll probably use this video to show them the bugs that I encountered thank you very much and I hope you guys have a good day see you next time